Hey guys, it's Nicole from Snapbed, and I'm gonna do another recipe today called baba ganoush. And this is a Middle Eastern dip recipe made from roasted eggplant and a few seasonings. So let's get started. Here's our eggplant. I just actually learned something really cool about eggplants today is that um, they have both male and female varieties and the male has more of the little, just like a little circle at the bottom and a female has like a long, I don't know, line kind of. And that female eggplants have a lot more seeds. So if you're trying to achieve a less seedy dish, you might look for a male eggplant. I have two lemons, some garlic, we're only going to use maybe a clove, and tahini. Oh, my oven is preheating. <laughs> tahini is ground up sesame seeds, and this is a little on the expensive side, so this can go for maybe seven or eight dollars at a basic supermarket. Um, not necessary, you can certainly um, make baba ganoush without tahini, but it does really add kind of a little something extra. You can also just buy, you know, a really small amount of sesame seeds. If you have a bulk section of spices and or seeds and nuts in your grocery store, you can buy just a small amount for the recipe and then you won't be breaking the bank. We've got just some basic olive oil. And then some optional seasonings you can add is a small amount of parsley to the top when it's complete. And I'm gonna add just a mint leaf for some extra flavor. And of course, don't forget a little salt and pepper. We'll add those at the end. First step, we need to roast the eggplant. So set your uh, temperature in your oven to 400, get a baking sheet and roast. All right, so really simple. I'm just sticking this right in a pan, kind of rolling around here. Um, and we'll let it sit. I'm going to chop up just a little bit of parsley and a single mint leaf for the garnish. Definitely not necessary, but it adds kind of a nice touch. And I'm not using the stem here. I'm gonna make this really small again. This is a garnish, it's not, it's not a main ingredient. Okay, I have my garlic here. I'm just using one clove. It really doesn't need to be that garlicky. So I'm cutting off the bottom piece here. This is the root. So if you look at the garlic plant, it's a bulb, right? And the roots grow down here. And this is what kind of keeps the whole thing together. So if you break off the root first, the rest of the, the um, outside will come off pretty easily. So I have taken that off. And then I'm putting uh, the base of my knife on top and just giving it a smash and that way the outside just comes off really easily. I'm using a garlic press. Obviously you can mince this yourself with a chef's knife. It's not um, a mincer or sorry, a, a garlic press is not necessary. There's a little bit that was turning a little soft. So I removed that. So I just have my one garlic clove. I'm putting it in my press here. And I also like to, once I press it, kind of scrape off a little at a time because it will get it into smaller chunks. So I squeeze until I see it start to appear and I take it off with my knife. That's just my personal preference so that I don't end up with one long stirring of garlic. All right, I'm adding the juice of one lemon. We'll see how much this makes. Like everything in cooking, it's to taste. So if you add it and you wanna add uh, you know, you try it and it's not, it's not as lemony as you like, just add another one. And just pour it right in. All right, I'm gonna check on this eggplant here. So you can see it's getting nice and dark on the outside, a little shrip, oh, a little shrivelly in some places. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so bear with me. Giving it a, turn every, you know, five minutes or so and turning it to a side that's a little less darkened. 
So you can see it's getting nice and soft. You can see with the tongs there and shrivelly. And that's exactly what you want because eventually when we remove the outside, it's gonna peel right off. All right, so there was an explosion in the oven. You're supposed to poke the eggplant a little bit and it, like with a fork or a knife first so that it lets the steam come out and I completely forgot to do that. So do as I say, not as I do. And in the meantime, we're gonna add the tahini to this bowl. So I did actually poke some holes in it just now and hopefully it will it will be fine. <laughs> so I've opened my tahini and it's kind of like peanut butter. Um, if you, oh shoot, I just poured it on the counter. Um, if you get the natural peanut butter, um, it will separate a little bit. The oil rises to the top and that's totally fine. You just need to mix it. So I'm gonna make sure to get all the way at the bottom there and mix this around. This is Sesame King. <laughs> Love that name. All right, so I've mixed this up. I'm gonna start with just like a, you know, a generous tablespoon-ish. This is not technically a tablespoon, but um, you can, you know, just heap it and mix that in to start with. Don't overdo it on the tahini at first because, okay, I'm never gonna be able to, oh. Oh, there we go. Don't overdo it just because you can always add more, remember? Uh, it's better to start with a little bit of these seasonings and then um, kind of play by ear and, you know, taste it. I'm just getting all this ready before the eggplant comes out of the oven because then it will be quicker. And just mixing this together. This was the garlic and tahini and lemon juice. Okay, and this looks just about done. And we can see it's soft in all parts now. That way we know um, it's ready to be taken out of the oven. Okay, so I'm putting my eggplant straight into this bowl here. And you can see it right there. Kind of collapsed on itself and has become all wrinkly and i'm actually going to put some tin foil on top to retain all that moisture so we need to let it cool before we peel off the outside okay so i'm going to stick this right into the fridge and again this is to retain the moisture it's obviously going to make the the cooling process a little bit slower um, but it's important to keep that moisture in there all right Okay, so I've let this cool in the refrigerator. I'm gonna remove the top here. And this is what our eggplant looks like. So the skin is all shriveled and it's really easy now to pull apart. In fact, since it already burst, I'm just gonna peel off these pieces. Look at that, so easy. And remove all that skin. We don't need that in our recipe. All right. We've got our pile of skin and our nicely roasted eggplant, and now we're just gonna mash it. Okay, I have my mashing implement here. Ooh, it just sprayed everywhere. <laughs> Going to add the mixture I made before with my tahini, garlic, and lemon juice. You can also put this in a blender if you want it to be a little bit more smooth um, or a food processor. I'm just using my whisk and masher because I don't really feel like the cleanup. Mmm, that smells so good. And here we have our final product. Let it cool completely and make sure to add a little olive oil to the top and some of those herbs we chopped up earlier. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Make sure to like and share. All the ingredients are below, as well as a link to um, the website where you can find a more detailed recipe. Thanks for watching.